doing mewing. Tried it and failed. Here are the core tips for mewing effectively and consistently. Mewing is so simple, but surprisingly effective. The problem is remembering to do it. Watch someone who's had a stroke. They don't have to remember. They have a permanent injury. One side of their face changes. It's clear and obvious. It's repeatable, predictable, and relatively fast. This can occur at any age. See an 80-year-old. The problem is not that it's impossible. It's not that the bone is set. The problem is that you forget, and the older you get, the less neuroplastic you are. Remember the old dog's new tricks phrase. We get set in our ways. It's harder and harder to change habits, but it is still just habits. We will tackle this in three ways, eating, walking, and chewing. The underlying problem, a downswung facial form, craniofacial dystrophy is mainly due to incorrect posture and function. See our video, The Science Behind Why Teeth Are Crooked. This is facts, not fairy tales. Function is exercise. It is something that you do, but posture is how you are. Posture is a long term. The problem with mewers is that they only remember when they are doing it. They are aware of it. They forget all the time when they are hanging their mouths open and kid themselves they are mewing all the time. The big problem is remembering to do it and the best way is to focus on functions which are repetitive and you do for a lot of the time each day. Function and posture are integrally related. We gain access to posture through repetitive function, as well as changes in muscle tone and memory. The key functions to focus on are eating, walking, and chewing, more specifically tongue chewing. Eating. This is excellent for people who cannot breathe properly when they are mewing effectively in a full suction hold. Focus on this one and don't move on till you have mastered this and can breathe with a full suction hold. Sit up straight, elbows off the table, build core body strength. Three meals a day saves you all those Pilates lessons. Then food to you, not you to your food. It takes some coordination and it's fine to lean forwards a little, focusing on a straight spine. Again, building core strength with relatively light exercise with controlled coordination. Chew your food until it's liquid. My grandmother told me to chew 32 times because I had 32 teeth. Well, very few people have 32 teeth, and I don't know if there's much science behind that. But don't rush. Remember the slow food movement. It surprises me how long and elaborately people are with cooking their food, only to gulp it down like animals savour every mouthful. Also, stop complaining about issues like gluten or carbohydrate intolerance before you properly process your food in your mouth, thoroughly mixing it with amylase, the natural enzyme in saliva, which catalyzes the breakdown of starch into sugars, a crucial step in carbohydrate digestion, totally unexploited by almost everyone. During this, your facial muscles should be completely passive. Busy on the inside, Mona Lisa on the outside. Not a flinch. Finally, chin tuck and swallow while you are biting together in your normal position, engaging the back third of your tongue pressed firmly against the roof of your mouth assisted, if necessary, with a chin tuck. See our video, The Mackenzie Chin Tuck, Rosie Mew's version, and Food to You, Mealtime Exercise. To remember, put an object on the table, a talisman, which you can then place behind your back with one hand when you're eating, to act as a reminder. Either your talisman is on the table in front of you, acting as a reminder to eat properly, or it's in your hand behind you doing the same thing. Remember, it's remembering to remember. I cannot tell you 
how to engage the back third of your tongue here in this video. It's too complicated. For that, you will need the mewing app by me, Mike Mew, which also covers the suction hold in some detail. Walking. Most people have a forward head posture. It's endemic, probably linked to modern lifestyles like smartphones and a small airway forcing people to hold their heads forward to breathe properly. Whenever you walk anywhere, do the abs walk, where you fully engage your tongue on your palate. Suck it into place, into a good suction hold. Engage the back third hard to literally push your head backwards, moving the weight of your head back so that you can feel your weight on your heels. Take a few more good swallows to hold this position and then walk. This takes practice. Watch the video, the abs walk. It is literally walking your way to a six pack, fighting the belly bulge. This helps you engage the deep frontal line. For most of you, this will be an utter revelation. The number of people who report that this helps back pain is testimony to this exercise. Remember, you don't use your neck muscles to hold your head back. This is a recipe for neck pain and problems. Only use the chin tuck to gain range. Use the tongue to hold it with the suction hole. To perfect this, see the video Big Toe Barefoot Biohack. Finally, tongue chewing. Using several sticks of regular, quite soft, high street chewing gum, flatten it with a max tongue press after you've chewed it a bit. Onto the roof of your mouth so that it is as thin as possible. Then roll it up and do this again and again. See the video tongue chewing, the video big bolus chewing, and the large bolus chewing circles. Only start tongue chewing if you can effectively engage the back third of your tongue, gain an effective suction hold and breathe. If you cannot, you risk building up your tongue, which is only making this more difficult. But if you can, then as you increase tongue size while maintaining good posture, you should in theory expand your jaws. These are the very best tips to get going for proper mewing. But like anything, if you want to do this properly, if you want a proper deep dive, then get the app, which goes into all of these in much better detail, which gives me the good segue to mention the mewing app, the sponsor of this video. But just one note, if you have jaw joint problems, see a professional before setting out on this journey. So our sponsor, the mewing app, we know that the teeth sit in a balance between the lips and the cheeks on the outside and the tongue on the inside. This is not in question. It is vital for everyone to try and improve this balance to align your own teeth, make orthodontic treatments faster and more effective, minimize or prevent relapse after treatment, and possibly gain an upswing in facial form or at least prevent a downswing. These exercises have been shown to reduce the measurements of sleep apnea by 50% in adults and 62% in children. Many of you will struggle as you lack tongue space or already have too serious a problem. The exercises we have just covered and the mewing app can help, but if you still cannot, then the best and possibly only way for you to get the help that you deserve is to help us get the spotlight of modern medical research to focus on this area. Our mission, our campaign, is to start with the cause because it is openly admitted that my speciality, orthodontists, don't know this, and then work up through the scientific process. Support us directly via the GoFundMe link below, or indirectly while you help yourself with the mewing app also link below. Help spread the word. Volunteer to help, the link below. Or as a minimum, share this video 
and if you have not already, please subscribe, like this video, and add a comment of your own below. Thank you very much.